Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we are going to talk about the recent launch of Moto uh, G8 Power Lite phone. Uh, so we are going to talk about this phone specs and my personal suggestions on whom should take this phone. So before going into this video, the first thing you have to know is Moto recently launched Moto H Plus and Edge. So whoever is interested, please go there and take it. That is a good option phone under the range. So that's it. So the next thing, the main thing of this video is about these specs. So basically this phone comes with 6.5 inches with full HD plus max vision display. So that is also cool. And the basic thing is this phone is like a baseline phone. So please don't expect too much of specs from this because the cost is also to a low level according to its specs. That's it. So the next thing. It comes with 6.5 inches and uh, it comes with 1600 into 720 pixel resolution. So in the sense you can go for 720, 1080 both as well. So that is cool. Next uh, talking about is aspect ratio. So aspect ratio in the sense your screen size, your phone size is 6.5 inches. It doesn't mean your screen size is 6.5 inches. So your screen size is given by this aspect ratio. So this phone comes with 20 is to 10, that is 20 length and 9. So that's your aspect ratio. Then followed by this next we are going to talk about its PPI that is pixel per inch. So in the sense if you have taken some photo and if you are trying to zoom it out you might have noticed that the photo may not be clear and it, there will be a blur image. So that is mainly due to this PPI. So in this phone this PPI pixel per inch density is basically 269. 269 so that is an okay thing according to its price. So that's it. So the next thing uh, about this display is basically about its screen to body ratio. So in this phone the basic ratio is 82.2 percentage. So in the sense if you take 100 percentage of your phone whereas like 82 percentage will be your screen and rest will be your body in the sense like carbonate body in the back silicons and all those stuffs. So this is about its uh, display whereas next thing is about its refresh rate. So here the refresh rate is basically 60 hertz. Please notice it is 60 hertz. So uh, refresh rate in the sense if you are playing some games you might have noticed like uh, when the day even if the data is so high or the Wi-Fi has so strong but still your game will be a uh, lag. So that is mainly due to this refresh rate. So in this phone the refresh rate is 60 hertz which is okay. So this is about its display side. So uh, following next, following about this uh, display next, we are going to talk about its processor. So in this phone, it comes with MediaTek Hello P38 processor. So this processor is almost uh, comparably equal to Snapdragon 660. Please note, it is Snapdragon 660. So basically this phone can work only to 4G, no 5G available in this phone. No like no steps, no specifications, nothing for 5G. So this phone is basically almost equal to Snapdragon 660. So in the sense the processor is not too fast. So but if you give some certain small amount of works, it can do it to maximum speed, that's it. So the next thing, this processor is clubbed with 4 GPU of RAM with 64 internal. You can expand it to with a dedicated slot of 256 GB. That's it about its processor side. It works, it runs on Android 10 and so. So the following next, uh, this next we are going to talk about its camera. So here talking about its camera, the selfie camera comes with a water drop notch with 8 megapixel whereas your rear comes with triple camera system with 16 plus 2 plus 2. So in the sense 16 for your primary, 2 for macro, 2 for your depth. So macro in the sense for zooming and those things. This is about its camera. The final thing is basically about its battery. So in this phone the battery is basically 5000 mAh and it comes with 10 watts fast charging. So that is also cool. In the sense you have to charge for minimum like 2 and a half hours to 3 hours. Like 2 to 3 hours to get full charge basically from my point of view. So following this it comes with two colors. Uh, Royal Blue and Arctic Blue. There is 3.5 mm jack. It is dual SIM and the speakers are so good. It comes in rear side. So the fingerprint is just below your triple camera system. So all those things are available in this phone. So talking about this, all these specs, we have to talk about its price. So this all price comes with around like 899 in the sense 9k, 9000 rupees. So next we are going to talk about the main my personal session. So in the sense if you are interested in gaming, gaming phones, please don't go for it. It is not a good choice. And the next thing is if you are interested in social media and stuff like that, this is like an okay option but I don't recommend highly to go under this phone. 
that's it if you ask me why i'll explain it the first thing is um this phone is basically for like maybe father mothers for elder people and so because the ram and uh, talking about its processor and so it is okay for those people in the sense they'll be just be using youtube whatsapp listening songs maybe two three videos and so calling that's it they will not be working or playing some games using some high definition apps and so so basically this phone is good for them whereas if you ask me uh, my budget is just a uh, 10000 then what i have to do then my personal suggestion is just wait for maybe like couple of months save some amount of money and buy a good phone like because when you cross like 12 or 13k there are good awesome phones for gaming at least for basic gaming and for social media stuff and sales that is my personal suggestion so please don't buy a phone uh, just looking on its um price so please look on these specs and think about your situation like your current working and those things and then choose your phone that is my personal suggestion so this is the end of this video so hope so you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up so like this content i'll just meet you in the next video so till then peace from k square bye